Okay, you can see I've gotten a bit ahead here, but the next step in the co-registering, um, if we click here on radar and we go to co-registration and S1 tops co-registration is this back geocoding. And from what I remember reading through the tutorial, um, you're co-registering your images based on the orbit file, but also based on topography. So you click on it. And you're now going to add in your two files here. And so, oh, sorry, am I clicking on the right place? Yes. Um, so all of this is stuff I've done before. So at this point, you should just have your orbit DM files um, down here. Okay, I've got, maybe let me sort mine so that it's easier to see. Same. Anyway, you can see my three here. So I've started out with three. Um, you would have noticed in the tutorial as we're going along. And at this step, I realized you can, because I got an error, you can only use files here that have the same swath. And you'll remember early on in the tutorial, two of mine were the same block on top of each other, and then the third one was different. So it turns out you can't use a different one. So mine, I'm going to use two dates. It's this 1st of August, and then it's the 13th of August. The 6th of August was the one I got an error because it wasn't the same swath. So I'm going to add in my 1st and my 13th this .dim file and click OK. And it adds it over here, and you go to back geocoding, and you want to use SRTM one second um, to help with the geo uh, co-registration. And you click on it, click run. And as soon as you do that, you'll see here, I went from having two files that I'm working with here, these this 1st and the 13th of August, and it brings it down to one file, um, This and it says stack. And so the next step along here, we're going to, Continue with co-registration, and so radar, co-registration, S1 tops, co-registration, sorry. And now we're doing enhanced spectral diversification. They said if you only had one band, you didn't need to do this step. So this is if you've got multiple bands. So you're going to click on it. And now you just have um, one file that you need to do this with because we're down to this one stack. So it's number five, and I think everything here I just left is the default, and I click run, and then it generated this number eight here. My computer was having issues with it, so I had to do it multiple times because it didn't show up in this menu, and then it showed up three times in this menu. So you can see now we've gone stack to ESD, and the ESD stands for, I've forgotten already, it's enhanced spectral diversification. Um, and so at this point, they suggested to check the data, so you right click on it and you go open RGB um, image and you can hear, see here it's asking you what data to put as red, green and blue. And so for red and green they suggested putting the master image, which is your first image, which would have been my first of August. So you can see here we're putting in the intensity. You can see there's I and Q, so the real imaginary parts, and then the intensity. And you can see MST here stands for master. So I'm putting in the master image. Again, master for green. And then blue, I'm putting the slave image, which is the second one. And the blue is obviously blue. And so you can see in the background here, this is the generated RGB image. And the main thing is you can't have too much yellow or too much blue. It can't be dominated by one, it has to kind of be equal between them. And you can see from the image here, it seems about right. Um, if we zoom in, you can see a mixture of red, I mean yellow and blue, and a bit of white here. Something I did wrong the first time was I didn't select the three different ones and I clicked OK and then my image was completely wrong. So just double check 